Frontier just released the Cretaceous Predator pack for Jurassic World Evolution 2. This pack really caught my eye because of the super realistic looking dinosaurs in here. It's a Tarbosaurus. Like, look at that thing. It, it looks like it was from a kid show or something. But I think we should pop in here, check it out just a little bit early this time around, and see all the new stuff in this DLC and even try to build a habitat with it. So without further ado, welcome everyone back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Hey, that rhymed. So I figure we might as well kind of just pop into the species viewer and actually check out some of the dinosaurs that we got. So I think the one that easily impresses me the most is the Utah Raptor. So I think the one that eas- So I think the one that easily impresses me the most is the Utah Raptor. Check out all of these gorgeous color combinations. We got some really intense blues, some really good purples. It's just a really stellar dinosaur. Even the accent colors on here with like the little feathers on the top and even like it changes just make it stand out so good. And some of these animations are incredible too. I popped in here earlier to check them out but look at that. It's just such a gorgeous model. Oh my god. So I guess we should probably check out the Tarbosaurus too. It does look badass like don't get me wrong. But it also does have that Jurassic World flair on it, which I believe is also due to the fact that it was in Camp Cretaceous. Again, I'm not really the biggest Camp Cretaceous fan, I just like the original movies and, you know, and I enjoy the Jurassic World movies, but it's still so cool. And we got some really cool patterns with it too. Really awesome stuff. I love when you kind of mix like colors that don't usually go together, like blue and white. That looks awesome. But he does look kind of like a cartoon character, which is why it's not really my favorite in the pack. The Giganto Raptor. These guys are huge in game. It's insane. But what I love the most about these guys is that they have these really, really colorful palettes and even some like darker ones, which match really good with like, I don't know, all these other patterns. Very cool stuff right there. They look kind of like murder chickens. In fact, I think this color scheme kind of looks like a rooster. I don't know, that's kind of cool. But yeah, these guys are insane. Check out this Amazon Rainforest skin on them, and you could even change it out to be like nice blue and yellow. That is insane. That it, like, it's literally one of my favorite dinosaurs. How could I forget that? Look at these guys. So insane to see this detail. But yes, once again, we get these really, really awesome high quality skins. And then you could change out these patterns. Not my favorite patterns because they don't really go over the entire dinosaur, but it's still really cool to see that. Most of the times whenever I am building in this game, I always go for like a blank pattern anyways. So it's always so cool. Look at that green skin. That is beautiful. And they even have like these little quills coming off the side. That is insane stuff right there. Just a high quality dinosaur. Look at that. All right, let's pop into a map and see what we could do with these guys. So I guess there's also pre-built layouts too that come with this update, but I'm not going to check those out. I personally don't really need that in my game, but if you guys want to check that out, that'll be there for you guys tomorrow. Gotta love the fence system in this game. It's always so good. So first and foremost, I kind of want to make sure that we get like a little bit of a compound setup before we start to bring in some big old dinos in here. Uh, I forgot about this about this game. We gotta actually get an entrance, guys. Sorry. Right, so in here, I think we could actually bring in one of our concavenators. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, just let me know because I am not a dinosaur guy. So what I always like to do, I always like to go blank pattern and then randomize the actual skin color. And then we could just pop a few out. All right, let's check out these exit animations. They are gorgeous. Look at these guys. Look at those humps. That is awesome. All right. Let's actually make their habitat a little bit. It seems like we could actually terraform with the fences over there, which I think... Is that new? Let me know if that's new, because I don't think I've ever been able to do that before. So yeah, I kind of want to flatten this back over here and add just a little bit of water area for them. Maybe a little bit more over there too. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like the controls for this game are, like, so much better now. I don't know. Alright, I just need them to leave, and then we could kind of close this gate. Awesome. So let's get a little bit of nature in here. I think we should probably do, like, big open plains for these guys. Just because they're kind of tiny, you won't be able to see them all that well. A little bit of ornamental shrubs kind of put in, like, all throughout here. And then we could do some, like, kind of tropical forests all around. A little bit more real forest, too. Why not? And we could even do the randomized rocks. I remember this from our video. 
such a good effect. It really does help your parks come to life. And then we could terraform just a little bit more of this. Just bring these areas out just a smidge more. Yeah, we got some dirt in there. This is really starting to come together. All right, so I say let's do a little bit of sand back here too, just because we want them to step out somewhere nice, you know? So that is Habitat 1 at least. Let's get to work on our next one. And I think for the Tarbosaurus, we should probably have something nice and big for these guys. And then we'll turn it back to concrete back here because I feel like that would just make sense. Yeah, look at that. That is metal, literally. All right, let's get one of these viewing galleries in here. I think we could actually do a few of these. I think it might be cool to get some of these viewing platforms up here too. Just give it a little bit more extra pizzazz. Hey, I'm using this luxury path for these as well. Just to make it a little bit more luxurious. I don't know about you guys, but I love big green dinosaurs. There's just something so cool about it. Let's get one of those. And honestly, let's get them a mate. I feel like a white one would look really cool too. Oh wait, we got two eggs each? Okay, well, I just want one, so. We'll go for one. And while those guys are loading in, where are Concavs? They are just exploring their little habitat. Look at them go. That is awesome. And that one's sleeping. Aw, he eepy. All right, I learned this mistake from the last one. We should probably feed these guys too. So let's get a uh, live prey feeder. Show sure. off. There. Nice. We will airlift one, but I still want to get that awesome hatchery release from the next one. So we're just going to wait for these guys to kind of shovel out. And in the meantime, I think we gotta get an operation center for, like, a SWAT team or whatever. Alright, let's check out that Tarbo. Oh, a little too close, buddy. A little too close. But they look awesome. Yeah, a little bit more cartoony than I like it, but you know what? It's fine. They still look cool. Alright, go take care of him for me, buddy. Thank you. And look at the green one, too. That is what I'm talking about. All right, I do want this to feel just a little bit more hilly than the rest of the park, so I think we could do something kind of like that. Would be cool to get, like, a little bit of a canyon going through here. That might be awesome. And it seems like there's an auto-paint function, too, which is kind of exactly what I needed. Yeah, look at these valleys. This is going to be awesome. Kind of reminds me of, like, Patagonia. I know that's probably not where the Tarbosaurus is found, but, like... I don't know. It still looks like those really cool mountain lakes. Oh, guys, this is looking so cool. Let's kind of forest out back here, too. Just so that we can kind of ground this area and the rest of the park. Let's get some more of those tropical trees in here. After all, this is a tropical island. Now that is looking pretty stellar right there. Right, well, we have two more dinosaurs, right? Let's get them in here. So I guess the Gigantoraptor is probably next on our list. So I think I want to make a big exhibit for these guys because they are quite massive. I'm also forgetting to put in the gates over here. And I forgot to give these guys food, too. That's a, that's a disgrace. Right there. Look, you got your meal with a view. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot to move this guy. How do I move him? R? F? Oh! I thought it was M. All right. Well, I guess we could kind of synthesize a few of these Gigantoraptors. I know I want that Amazon Rainforest one, and I'll do, like, the blue skin with that one, too. And I think I'll do an red one. Oh, a red one with no pattern at all. He could be like the alpha. All right, let's get three of these guys in here and let's only get one for these. Then we could check out the exit animation on those guys too. That'd be awesome. In the meantime, we should probably get some like attractions in here. I feel like this is like the perfect grounds for kind of like this innovation center. That is just fitting nice and snugly in there. I like that. These main boys can come in here already, but I gotta check out the exit animation on this Gigantoraptor. Now, we can probably sneak a few guest things in here. I think we could fit a hotel or two. Alright, scoop them out of there. They look so pathetic. But once they're actually out here, look at that. That is gorgeous. Alright, let's see the boy. <laughs> look at the weird chicken. God, that skin is just amazing. Let's get you out of there. All right, how else can we dress up this park? These, oh man, so many awesome new things in here. I still have no clue what key I clicked in order to get that to work, but you know what? It's fine. Figure we could put like a little bathroom over here just to brighten this area up. You know, it'd be even cooler though, is actually decorating this habitat. Let's see what we could do. Okay, I have a kind of funky idea for this. Let's actually raise the back a little bit. I don't know. I just love making like little swamps in here. I think these guys could have a blast in a habitat kind of like this. Right, so with that done, do the outline with like some of these thicker trees. Again, just so it grounds itself a little bit more. 
And we could even connect it up with like the rest of the park right there. Look at that. That is awesome. Have it kind of creep into the habitat even a little bit more. This is what happens when a Planet Zoo player plays JWE. It's like, oh man, I gotta make this seem realistic. Like, listen, I know I have like 12 foot turkeys over here, but I gotta make sure that they have the habitat's needs met. A little bit more tropical foliage in here too, just so it helps it feel so much better, yeah. We'll do even more of these tropical rocks all throughout here, just so it feels interesting at least. That is so cool. Look at these habitats. They're looking fantastic. Now I do want to get like some of these in here too. These are like those viewing logs that we got in a few updates ago. I think I want to put this guy right in here. I think that'd be awesome. Just tucks in so nicely right there. And these zip lines too. I completely forgot about these. These would be so awesome over here. Oh, and we could even do like a little walking trail back here with these guys. Yeah, look at that view. You're just suspended over. Well, water. I don't know. Ah, oh, there's one of the red chickens. Ah, oh, there's the green chickens. Look at them. I'm like trying to find something cool to do with this area over here, but I really don't know. However, we do have one last dinosaur that we could build for, so let's get that done. Damn it, don't forget the food. Dump the food. I swear to God, these goats. I feel bad for them. All right, don't mind me. Just looking up what else I forgot. So I think I want this flock to just have the coolest colors ever. So I'm going random skin color and no pattern at all. You know what, we'll even do another batch. All right, let's check these guys out. Oh, now that is gorgeous. And they make the same noises as the normal Velociraptors. Which honestly, I can't hate, like it sounds awesome. All right, you guys already know the deal with the habitat. This time I think I want like this mountain back here. And honestly, these guys could just have a huge open field to run around in. I think that's gonna be the coolest thing. Cause like you have these animals that are so fast, I assume. I mean, I've never seen a Utah Raptor in real life. If you have, let me know in the comments. But yeah, you have these presumably really fast creatures. So I feel like having them have all this open space, kind of like a cheetah run might be kind of cool. And yeah, we're just decorating like all the areas around here so it doesn't feel so empty. And there we have it, a habitat for Utah Raptors. Look at these guys. Oh, look at those. Oh, they're adorable. We have a nice big one for our concavenators. Really intense patterning down there. I love that stuff. You can get up close to the you can get up close to the gigantoraptors over here. Look at them. That's terrifying. I'm already scared of chickens as it is, and those are just even worse. And our Tarbosauruses have this huge canyon down here. Look at this. So awesome. Alright, I'm gonna see what I could do with building up the rest of this habitat, and I'll see you guys after the fact. Or rather, this entire park. I'll see you then. So I guess I forgot to even mention, like, the coolest part about this update, where we get, like, placeable trash cans and, like, picnic benches and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy I'm freaking about that, but I guess the Planet Coaster people also freaked out about that, like, all those years ago. So I guess I'm in the right, too. But, yeah, essentially all I wanted to do was just finish up this park and get it ready for you guys for day one release. So really, that's about it. I'm super happy with how well this turned out. So you can see, I'm doing a whole bunch of different like guest-oriented building just because if I did this live, it really wouldn't have been as efficient, really. I don't know, there's only so many ways I could talk about placing down a picnic bench when I could just place down the picnic bench and talk about it with the film sped up about 600 times. But you can see I'm over here just trying to figure out what else to do with this park. Uh, it's really difficult for me to try and orient myself into building for Jurassic World Evolution because when you're building in Planet Zoo, it's so easy because you're building like a very concise habitat and then you're building like very concise guest areas. It feels very grounded. But when you're building in Jurassic World Evolution 2, you're building these monster parks where they house these literal monster dinosaurs and it's like you don't even know where to squeeze everything it's like so complicated but i start to figure out like kind of like the tools of the trade so i place down a whole bunch of like custom scenery everywhere placing down like palm trees and these larger kind of like brazil nut trees uh just to line up these areas make sure they look very good i really like what i did over there with like the sand with like the Mediterranean plants from the Malta DLC. Really cool stuff right there. But just adding as much more detail as possible. And I was like, you know what? This park looks fine on its own, but I kind of want to decorate like the exterior of the park. So I decide, you know what? We're going to call it the Maw. 
we're just going to call it the Maw, and decorate the entire exterior of the park too. So I love how well this turned out. So I essentially did this swamp area on the outside, and I have these huge mountains like kind of hugging the park like that. You can see it really come into play right here. I decorated it a lot more with like more terrain paint and stuff, so it feels very kind of built in, but it just helps to center the park so much better, and it really helps give it a more of a sense of purpose. So if you guys are building in JWE, I really do recommend recommend you guys play around with that because it really does help to give your park just that extra oomph over there. It just is so much easier when you're building a park and you're looking at filled out area rather than like an entire blank sandbox map. At this point I started to get a little bit more comfortable with the actual decorations once again. Not really going something as crazy as I did with my marine park but I still want to bring in a whole lot of different decorations in here. So I love those little backstage areas where you put like all of those containers and like all these like shipping crates and stuff. I don't know I just love that. And I also went through and did like this little seating area right there. I suppose you could have like a little fast food joint right next to that so you guys could eat by the water when you look at like these cool dinosaur statues. I know it's a carnivore only park and I put an herbivore right there. Let's just remind ourselves what they eat. Uh, also putting down some hotels and stuff because really what else can I put in here to help it really stand out? Just some other restaurants, some other shopping areas and that's really it. I really do love what I did over here with these fences too. Not really fences, but these planters. Really helps you ground these areas too. And I really love what I did with this little area right there too. It's just the same thing over and over again, but I don't know. I still enjoy it. Uh, adding some more details in here, including the Hammond statue that was the first anniversary gift. Uh, really sorry, JWE people, about that. I know that we got a free animal, but if you guys want the peccary, I'm sure a modder can pour it over so you guys could have it as, like, food enrichment, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, that's really it. Just adding all these extra details in here. Uh, not as much as I wanted to do, but I'm kind of cutting it close with the release of the DLC anyways. So I just wanted to get this out for you guys. I'm still super proud of it. Like, it's still a really, really awesome looking park. And without further ado, we could actually get into the cinematics. You can see that beautiful look over the park. And, like, all these quick little shots just showcasing what this park is. All these little cool areas where you guys are able to chill out in. And, of course, we get these really cool dinosaur shots at the end. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I can't wait to see you all in the next Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Goodbye now.